G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand comes from the uh, weekly free instant tournament, and it was just perfect about reading the opponent's discards to help you like work out what sort of honors they have and things like that. And I found this one really good, and a good example of if they've got the queen, how many cards do people like to hold on to. It's tougher with the robots, but they sort of follow the same sort of guidelines um, of what they tend to do. But it's not always perfect, but it's a really strong inference that you can use in future. And I hope you uh, add this into your game, so check out this hand. Uh, this is a pretty good hand. 17 points, 4, 6. So I'm going to start with a double. I might bid some diamonds later. So my partner has a stop in hearts and 5 to 10 high card points. So I could bid two diamonds, or I could just bid three no trump. And not tell the opponents what's going on. So let's go the three no trumps approach. Make it tougher for them to actually defend the hand. Okay. So my partner has... So declare has got seven high card points. I have uh, 17, so that's... 24... Just a bit slow on the uptake there. So 24, so there's uh, 16 missing. So East doesn't really need to have them all. Now, I can cash out for... Alright, so I can take... Six diamonds, two spades, and a club. So I can cash out for nine. However, if I think that uh, East actually has the queen of spades, I can take 11 tricks. Um, so I might start by rattling off uh, six rounds of diamonds and seeing what sort of discards I get. Eight of hearts. Two of clubs. Another heart. So West pitch to spade. And another spade. Okay. Um, so that leans towards me actually taking this finesse. So I'm going to catch the ace. And then cross over. Now, I don't think West would pitch down to like shorter than queen third spade. So if I lead a spade, cross over and lead a spade here, if East follows, it means West uh, doesn't have the queen. And if East shows out, I just cash out. So... Because uh, West pitched two, so if they started with five spades to the queen, pitching two is fine. But if they started with four to the queen, they would only pitch one of them and hold on to queen third. So for all of that reasoning, um, I'm just going to cross over and lead the jack of spades. If East follows, I'm fairly sure I've got the queen. Okay, 11 tricks. 92% again. Beautiful. Um, okay, so what did some people do? So some people just overcalled two diamonds. Like, I don't actually mind a two di diamond overcall. Like, sometimes overcall a bit strong, like not wanting to double and then bid. One of the reasons why I was happy to double and bid on this hand is because I have four spades. So if my partner bids spades, it's the extra upshot. Um, so that's why I think double's better on this hand. And then... My partner, yeah, so you can bid three diamonds or two diamonds, whatever. And the opponent's laid a heart. So I think people just uh, were afraid of taking the uh, spade finesse. But I'm fairly, like, sound, and especially against human players, reading their discards is very important. People from queen third, they want to hold on to three to the queen because if they're worried about it going ace of spades, king of spades, and things like that. So here... Um, just watching the discards. They all followed. And... Okay, so here was a spade discard. That's all I was really caring about was the discards and spades. Now, as soon as West pitched one spade, I thought, hmm, maybe they could have queen fourth spade and still afford to discard one. That's fine. Now, when they pitch another one, uh, if they had the queen, they wouldn't be pitching down to queen doubleton. That's my whole assumption here. So if East has... Uh, so if West has three to the Queen still, that would give East one. So I cash the Ace, 
So west would still need two more to the queen, which means that they have both of these. So when I cross over here, now when I lead a spade up, I would have seen east show out. When I don't, I know that they've got the queen, all based on that inference that if they, uh, like from their discards, people don't want to discard below queen third. The robots don't want to discard below queen third, things like that. So cheeky little uh, 92%. Even without that, I might have been tempted to take the Spade Finesse anyway, uh, because it was through the opening bidder, so I think it's above a 50% shot. However, looking at these sorts of results, getting to three no trumps gets 67%. So if I went down, I'm getting a zero. If I get it, I uh, get an extra 25%. So I am want to be sure 75% of the time. Would I have been that sure? Not not super confident, but uh, yeah.